Mr. Bigley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Gerbeagley with another episode of Gaming with Gerbeagley, and I'm once again playing another random one-shot from over on Game Jolt this time, actually. This is a game called Tourist, and this is a short point-and-click horror adventure. I really don't know very much about this, honestly, except that this was made for Asylum Jam 2015. For those of you guys who aren't familiar with Asylum Jam, I guess the entire point is that it's breaking the stigma of mental health uh, being associated with like psych wards and mental hospitals, things like that. So you'll never see those as a setting in these games. They try to draw that horror and that psychological dread from other inspirations. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to get started here. It doesn't look very scary from the home screen here, but the music is a little bit ominous. But yeah, let's go be a tourist somewhere. I'm assuming that's what it's about. Controls are left click and then interact. Oh, wait, no, interact is left click and right click is examine. OK, easy enough. All right. I grew up playing point and click games, so I love these. Uh, Shilton on sea. It's been a. Oh, OK, so this is like the narrator. Shilton on sea. It's been a while. There is a conference on this evening and I wanted to attend. I need to get settled in, familiarize myself. The usual. It's a bit nerve wracking. Exciting, too, though. It's important I fit in. Yeah, a lot of the times when you go to those like professional conferences and stuff, you want to make sure you're dressed, you know, the best that you can be and, and that you're organized and everything. Picture of seafront. OK, interesting. I'll leave the picture where it is. Ah, look at all this stuff I can click on. Tea, coffee, sugar and creamer. I shouldn't really be making drinks right now. And there's a kettle. I don't have time for tea right now. Maybe later. OK, that's fine. Yeah, I guess that's right. If we're trying to like get ready for a conference, that makes sense. I think I'd better leave the light on. Uh, yeah, it's probably going to be hard to like find stuff if I don't. Uh, there's an exit door. I don't think I really need to exit yet, do I? It won't open. It's locked and something's jammed in there. Wait, that's a little sinister. So, OK, already a bit foreboding. I'm locked in here. I can't exit my own apartment or hotel room or wherever I am right now. Uh, OK, so we might be trapped in here. Bathroom door. I'll just pop in here. Sure. That makes sense. Oh, did I not? Wait, I didn't go anywhere. Here we go. Makeup and a hairbrush. I'll need this. Got to look my best for the conference tonight and hopefully the after party. Oh, wait, makeup. So I'm assuming, I mean, I'm just assuming here, but I'm assuming this is a female uh, narrator. Okay, so we just popped in. Right, that's one thing I need. Still have plenty of time to gather up whatever else. All right, so can I go back in the bathroom? So I guess we just popped in. We didn't actually get to see the bathroom. I don't need to go back in there just yet. It's not a good time to shower right now. OK. Uh, oh, cool. All right. So if I bring my mouse all the way to the edges of the screen, then I can, I guess, go other places or I guess rotate. That makes sense. Trouser press. I have nothing to press right now. Hmm. A lot of pictures. I'll leave the picture where it is. All right. Any of these pictures going to do something? I feel like one of them's got to be important, right? Note on mirror. Oh. It's a list of people to talk to at the conference. I'll definitely need this. Okay. I've got a couple of things now. Still making good time, though. Don't want to get caught on the hop. Caught on the hop? Oh, this has got to be, like, from the UK or, like, Europe somewhere. Because uh, I noticed earlier, too, familiarize was spelled with an S instead of a Z. So, yeah, from across the pond. The mirror. Let's look at ourselves. I'm definitely not ready to go out looking like this. Still, there's time. All right. I'm getting like this really ominous vibe about what's going on here. I have no idea what is happening yet, but it's still very spooky that we're like trapped in here. Toiletries. I'll spray a little perfume on ready. Okay, sure. Such a beautiful scent, vaguely uh, uh, autumnal, like October air. Wow, couldn't read that word for a second. All right, is that it? That's all I can do with the toiletries. Chest of drawers. So much sensible underwear. Do I really need this many white cotton knickers? <laughs> oh. Here, though, some black lace lingerie. Ooh. I don't want to wear these to the conference, but I'll keep them handy. You never know where I might end up afterwards. Dang, she did mention an after party, so maybe she's she's looking to hook up or something like that. Getting there. Yeah, heck yeah. Oh, what was that noise? Hmm, was someone at the door already? Did someone try to walk in? Is this the person who's locked us in or something? They seem to have gone. I'm sure I have time to ignore them for a bit. What? Okay. Very in Oh, if I bring my uh, mouse all the way up to the top here, I get to see my my inventory, my sexy lingerie. Yes. Very nice. 
And then we have the itinerary and a makeup bag. Okay, interesting. Wardrobe doors. I'll take a look inside. Clothes, plenty of clothes to last until after the weekend. They're all a perfect fit. Good choices if I do say so myself. I'm not wearing any of these to the conference this evening though. Okay, Miss Picky Picky. What's over this way? Ah, there's a whole bunch of other stuff. I can look out the window. It's raining, I better not open it. Yeah, probably a good idea. All right, can't do anything with a light up there. This lamp though. No need to turn the lamp on, it's bright enough. Uh, there's a bibble. There's something tucked inside, an ID card. I need this to get into the conference. Strange to have left it in the Bible of all places. Oh, is something like satanic going on maybe? Is that why the Bible's an illusion there? Interesting. I mean, especially if she doesn't remember like reading the Bible or something or putting her ID in it. Nearly there. Oh, uh oh, why did the music change? Oh God, is someone trying to get in again? Uh. Breathe, just stay calm. Uh oh. It's going to be okay, uh, is it? Because it sounds like someone's here and my, I'm not facing them. Phew, they're gone for now. I better hurry though. Uh, okay, a little bit unsettled now. Bedside cabinet. Is this timed? I don't know if this is timed or something. Let's see if there's anything inside. A couple of books, the charnel house burial by Lewis Castle and a guide to local landmarks. Nice reading material for later. I'll just put these back for now. So I feel like we're in a hotel room, uh, some sort of hostel maybe, and we've been locked in and now someone's trying to get in and maybe get to us, which is a little bit upsetting. I don't like that. Okay. Oh, event. Okay. I've seen these in point and click games forever. This means that I get to unscrew it at some point. The cover's screwed on pretty tightly. Maybe I can get it off somehow. Yeah, uh, if I find like a screwdriver or something, I bet I'll be able to open that because that's normally the traditional puzzle in point and click games. All right, leaving the picture where it is. Nothing with the picture, the bed. There's no time for sleeping. Yeah, especially if someone's trying to get in here. Good God. Uh, under the bed, is there a spooky monster? There appears to be nothing under there, and I have no reason to hide just now. Just now? Until the person gets in. Oh God. Pillow, okay, what's in the pillow? There's something here, an earring. Oh my, it must have fallen off. I better keep hold of that. It's a pretty, or a very memorable pair. Yeah. And done. I'm ready. Why am I so nonchalant about this, by the way? I'm just like, dum de dum 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 going about my day, getting ready for the conference. Meanwhile, someone has locked me in here and is trying to come in to do horrible things. A little bit spooky. I don't know if this is supernatural or what's going on here. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, there it is again. Uh-oh. And just in time, too, it seems. God, it sounds like they'll have the door open in no time. I, I need to hide. Stay calm and hide, yes. Uh, under the bed? Maybe? Perfect, I can hide under here. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, perfect. Someone's breaking into my room. Very perfect. Uh, oh, this was, uh, oh, this is someone else talking to the handyman out the bloody pub. Wait, what? I've lost an earring too, one of the lovely shell ones Brad gave me, yeah. Oh. God, yes, Brad's gonna be here there today. I'll walk in and he'll say, Maggie, you look divine as always. Oh. Every time. Yeah, haha. And I'm just like thinking, take me now. Oh gosh. Cher, seriously, how does a beautiful guy like that have such a trout for a wife? So we're overhearing someone else's conversation. Ha, huh, it's three times a year actually, but you're right. At least he's mine then. Oh gosh. Anyway, gotta run. I'm late. Love you. Bye. Mwah. Oh, it was a phone call. Okay, interesting. Oh. Hello. What is happening? Can I... Use this stuff on you? Do you want this earring? Do you want this ID? Do you want your undies? Put on the undie pants. Maybe. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Do I just click on Maggie? I also get this inkling that this is not a room anymore. I have this weird feeling because Maggie was talking about needing a handyman to get into the room because the door was jammed. And also... It sounds like Maggie's referring to meeting people later, possibly at the conference. Are we actually the bad guy here? Because that'd be a really cool twist. Hello, Maggie. Oh, yeah, I just click her. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. I think we might have just killed Maggie. I think we just killed her. I wear her face. I wear all your faces. Yeah, we're the bad guy. Oh, my God. The night stretched before me. Her life stretches before me. 
My body fills her curves, her clothes, her face becomes mine. I am her and she is me. But it's only fleeting. It's only for tonight. God, I don't know if... So, we're the bad guy here. And the reason we were going around collecting this stuff was to assume the identity of this Maggie lady whose room we were in. But I don't... I can't tell if we're speaking literally here and we, like, actually cut off her face and are maybe wearing it or wearing like a skin suit made out of her, which would be disgusting and very weird, or just metaphorically, we're just inhabiting her personality and her identity for tonight. Tonight, I taste her life. Tomorrow, I move on. For I am a tourist, and I walk among you. Oh God, that's eerie. Yours is the face I wear. Oh my God, that's really creepy. Very cool little twist there. Was that it? Yeah, that was the end of the game. Really cool story. I like that a lot. It wasn't traditionally like horrifying in the sense of like spooky monsters or supernatural things happening or even like a murderer out to get us. In, in fact, we were the murderer. But what a cool spooky story, especially with that twist there. I liked that a lot. What a cool little game. I liked it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that too because that was like really different from a lot of the uh, horror point and clicks I've played in the past. This one definitely had something else going for it and I, I really liked the whole idea of being like, oh God, maybe we're locked in the room and uh, we're getting ready for this conference, but we don't realize just how dire our situation is. Everything just seemed a little bit off, but now it all makes sense as to why it was off. So we killed Maggie, we took her identity, and now we're out there looking for another one. Wow very very spooky but anyway guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to hit the like button share the video and favorite it also be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already for those of you who have thank you so much for all of your support you guys are the best in the world i love every single one of you and as always it was great seeing ya bye bye